good morning children hey how do you do okay good so today we are going to study about the pride of india kalpana chawla we know that she was the first indian woman uh, space traveler okay and she was the one uh, first uh, indian woman that uh, what aero uh, okay astronaut yes astronaut okay yes so we know that uh, we knew lots of things about okay we knew uh, great knowledge about kalpana chawla okay she was born in karnal punjab okay and uh, she uh, married to an american and she became us citizen then also she represented india okay uh, okay no no she represented america only but she was from india that's only we can uh, feel proud of uh, india okay yes so first let's move to the topic i don't want to uh, talk more about okay let's listen because we know that okay uh, she was indian uh, citizen okay and she represented america though she was uh, born in india so i'm not much interested in uh, speaking about her okay uh, so let's move to the topic okay yes kalpana chawla was born in karnal a small town in erstwhile erstwhile means uh, uh, in the past okay previously to us uh, in punjab okay now uh, in haryana okay hmm. previously to us a part of punjab and now it's haryana yes and she was really lucky to be born there okay where in karnal for karnal was one of the few towns in india which had a flying club okay hmm. karnal is the one of the few towns in india which had flying club okay flying club means uh, flying this uh, glider aerospace all the things okay yes uh she and her brother sanjay okay what's her um, brother's name sanjay used to follow the small slow moving pushpak aeroplanes okay see this is okay pushpak aeroplane okay uh, on their bicycle okay on their bicycle hmm? yes uh we, how many of you have bicycle okay you follow whenever you see a uh, suppose that a helicopter is going if you how okay if you are there with your bicycle at least you will try to follow that right yes if the uh, helicopter is going slow okay yes uh now <clears throat> uh slow moving pushback airplanes on their bicycle just to figure out where these airplanes were headed okay just to uh, figure out figure out means to find what uh, what where to this aeroplane going okay hmm? yes headed means going okay next uh, very often very often means uh, it didn't take time okay both of them used to fall and hurt themselves because they were looking up at the planes okay what happened very uh, very uh, what um, very often without okay what both of them used to fall okay so <clears throat> whenever they travel like that okay they used to fall down from the bicycle why uh, and hurt themselves hurt means whenever they uh, f- fall down okay suppose that whenever uh, you also fall down from bicycle uh, injury will be there okay so hurt themselves because they were looking up at the planes okay <laughs> instead of the road while cycling okay so we know that whenever we walk or whenever we ride a bicycle or bike we have to look concentrate on the road not anywhere but they were only concentrating on the planes okay they were only looking at the planes um, up okay they were looking up not uh, instead of looking on the road okay so we know that whenever we don't uh, look at the road okay instead uh, if uh, whenever we look uh, somewhere else <laughs> we don't go far we will fall down okay yes i also fell down like that okay and uh, that's really a what uh, great incident in my life okay mm, yes that i will tell you later okay no we don't have time okay we have to finish this as it is a quite big topic okay i'm going to uh, the, give the explanation of all topic today okay all topic means uh, this topic okay this story okay yes uh while cycling they would often pester pester means what um, annoy or disturb continuously okay they often uh, they uh, okay they would pester their dads to take them flying okay they disturbed their father okay they were papa papa please take us to the flying um, that club please take us to the flying club like that okay so if you have any any wish, uh, wish or desire also you disturb your parents yes so they disturbed their father for what to take them to fly, uh, flying and finally okay one day he relented he relented means he agreed okay uh, then both the uh, children took turns riding in the pushpak okay so they uh, rode they rode the pushpak flight okay as well as a glider also not only pushpak plane even they uh, flew a glider also uh, that the flying 
club had okay so in that uh, flying club there was uh, there was uh, that pushback fly, uh, flight and uh, even gliders also were there so they uh, flew both of them okay the next step i think that's the really my close okay i think that's really my closest link to aerospace engineering that i can dig deep down to find out out there okay so uh, she said in one of her interviews who kalpana chawla said in uh, her one of the uh, one of her interviews what that's the closest link to the aerospace okay so whenever she became that aerospace engineer uh, that uh, media the people asked that what is the okay did you have any connection between this uh, okay did you ride any uh, that in your childhood like that they asked okay in previously so she said that uh, this is the one of the closest link to the aerospace engineering that she can collect it dig dig deep down means to collect okay, or to remember to remember yes recollect recalling then dig deep down like that also all we can say instead of remembering okay find out out there next time hmm. when she was 11 her imagination was further ignited by the glamorous photographs of the viking landers mars mission in the illustrated weekly of india okay so uh, when she was uh, 11 her imagination imagination what what was her imagination to travel uh, what uh, to uh, ride or to fly uh, um, aerospace or something or a spacecraft or something like that okay that was her imagine uh, image okay imagination okay and ignited further ignited again ignited means uh, boosted up okay boost giving boost to power again okay. power uh, powered up okay how by the glamorous photographs of the viking landers viking means uh, they are that's also spacecraft which uh, sent by america to mars like we sent chandrayaan to the mars uh, like that okay uh, no uh, not chandrayaan uh, some uh, we sent something to uh, that uh, mars okay i forgot the name of okay anyway that thing okay like that uh, america sent a viking uh, viking uh, that's name viking 1 viking 2 okay viking landers okay yes to mars mission okay that illustrated illustrated means uh, uh, that specified or uh, gave importance okay uh, pointed pointed in weekly of india okay weekly we know that we get lots of weeklies uh, okay uh, for ladies uh, lots of ladies weeklies or for uh, children a story we uh, that's all things okay whenever yeah we will be waiting for okay yes, though there is okay story book in my childhood okay, we were we used to wait for it okay every week okay that uh, story books that uh, they were we can be used to get with the uh, newspaper so we were waiting for that okay and uh, it was like that okay whenever i get okay uh, it was like uh, me and my sister we used to jump to catch that okay to get that okay and i was the first now uh, first okay person who was first always to get that and uh, uh then my father used to say that okay he uh, said like that okay oh it's like a hitler okay my reading why because whenever uh, okay and even uh, when i asked uh, when i asked him that why you, uh, you compare me to uh, yeah, hitler then he said that uh, hitler he was like that only okay so whenever he dissolved in reading okay he is uh, concentrated in reading even a bomb blast near to him also he won uh, he will not get to know okay he wouldn't get to know like that only i was also with the one sitting i would finish all that story book okay it was like that that much interesting even uh, i used to read that names of the that um, truck you know that nobody so that uh, tata and all things uh, previously it was like the wood uh, were crafting okay uh, sorry carrying by that uh, low, uh, heavy lorry lorries we call okay that kind of things okay they used to give names different names and i used to read that in my childhood when uh, while i was going to school it was all my interest okay at that time okay so like that we spent our uh, childhood okay so that was really <laughs> beautiful memory yes so like that uh, she uh, read that uh, okay she got that news in uh, weekly of india okay and that uh, boosted her imagination of the aerospace then her father knew jayadi tata jayadi tata who is that okay jahangir ratan bhai dada bhai okay ratan ratan ji dada bhai okay dada bhai then tata okay that's his full name okay so means ratan tata our ratan tata he uh, he is a great person okay he is really a patriot we can say that he is really a patriot okay uh, that tata company they give lots of vehicles that um, uh, what uh, 
ക്ലോസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് എക്വിപ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് വെഹിക്കിൾസ് ടു ദ അവർ സോൾജിയേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ടു അവർ ഫോഴ്സ് ദേ റിയലി പ്രൊമ ഗീവ് ഓക്കെ ദേ റിയലി ഗീവ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദേ ഡു ഗീവ് ദേ ഈവൻ ദ ടാറ്റ നാനോ കാർ ഓക്കെ that uh, or in that uh, by uh, okay uh, for you know, that uh, there's a story i read uh, accidentally in uh, the, in facebook that uh, okay one day he was traveling uh, okay he was traveling and he was uh, waiting in uh, traffic okay to for the green signal at that time he saw that uh, family okay a family person he sitting on a bike and uh, his wife then children lots of things were there in that bike okay so ratan uh, that our uh, ratan data he uh, mm, he uh, got really what disappointed by seeing that okay family a whole family in a bike how dangerous it is okay that family can lose their okay any of one of them if something happened okay so he thought or thought okay which is affordable for the common people like that tata nano he formed okay he invented tata nano okay see how patriot he is not like others like vijay malya or okay and uh, what we do we support and we uh, like uh, respect uh, vijay malya and uh, such people we don't uh, give respect to these people uh, like uh, tata tata and uh, birla okay actually they are uh, real patriots uh, tata uh, tata and birla okay yes birla uh, peter england uh, peter england do you know which is the real great brand and that's from india peter england it's from india of course yes you wonder yes it's from india only peter england the great brand of tea uh, shirt and uh, it's that founder of that um, peter england is of course uh, birla i think birla but not sure okay but i believe it so anyway see how they are uh, they uh, become a uh, patriot hmm? hmm then uh, okay so uh, and okay then uh, jrd tata uh, who had done some of the first mail flights in india okay even okay previously you know that air india it was part of tata's only it was uh, this aero, aeroplanes and all this in the air india it was a part of tata's only then from tata our uh, rajiv gandhi he bought and he made it as the okay as the asset of indian government okay indian government now, now we are selling it to the private company of another another country american con- uh, country uh, american company we sell it we sold it almost all day almost sold it our india asset air, air india we sold it then uh, we don't know what else uh, we are going to sell okay you people <laughs> don't know anything okay yes uh, yes so okay so uh, now yeah had uh, done some of the okay fl- first mail okay mail mail means what passenger flight okay passenger flight not passenger that uh, parcel parcel flight okay only that parcel is uh, pa- transferring from one place to another okay that's mail m a i l flight mail flight and also the airplane uh, okay airplane that he flew for the mail flights now hangs in one of the aerodromes aerodromes means um, that some uh, space which is only for uh, that uh, aircraft things okay uh, like a museum we can say yes aerodromes uh, out there that i had a chance to see okay so yeah, she got a chance to see that uh, mail flights which uh, hangs there uh, where in the ta- aerodrome okay aerodrome and which was a part of who jrd tata he used to fly that then seeing this aeroplane and just uh, knowing that what this person had done during those years was very intriguing intriguing means uh, uh, intriguing means uh, making a need to know more okay so that made a need okay she wanted to know more about it intriguing and definitely captivated my uh, imagination okay it's really attracted her imagination what that uh, uh, mail flight okay mail flight by uh, jrd tata okay and uh, seeing this aeroplane uh, knowing that okay so person uh, how he flies okay so she wanted to know more about that okay now more about that and uh, she want uh, that really attracted her imagination the combination of these experiences fueled her desire to become an aero aeroplane uh, airplane airplane engineer when she was just a child okay so this combination what 
first uh, that uh, her father was uh, her father knew that jayari jata and uh, she got another that uh, she uh, saw that uh, that uh, in aero aerodrome okay she saw in aerodrome that uh, airplane uh, that flew for the mail flights okay by jayari jata okay whenever she saw that also really those fueled up fueled the again also fuel means of what why we use fuel petrol and all the give power okay to uh, ride the vehicle okay so giving power so powered her okay gave boost boosting for her imagination okay desire need okay gave boosting in her need the combination of these experiences fueled okay again same only sorry uh, at that time the education system okay at that time the education system in india was such a such that one had to decide okay so at that time what in her time hmm, uh, education system like that how like how it was that one has to decide okay means if uh, suppose that i am studying okay where in which class uh, class 8 okay suppose suppose that i reach in uh, class 8 i can decide that whatever whatever subject i can i want to study okay i can decide that kind of education system was there in that time what stream uh, one wanted to take okay what stream okay so whether it is science whether it is arts whatever stream i like as uh, i'm interested in english okay i can take uh, english stream okay languages so okay otherwise i want to become a scientist i can take science stream okay like that at that time the education system was so she chose the study um, to study physics chemistry and mathematics because as she rightly said i'm going to do Uh, aerospace engineering kalpana passed out from tagore school karnal in 1976 okay so she took what science okay physics chemistry and mathematics as she rightly said i'm going to do aerospace engineering okay she saw uh, she told that okay she's uh, she was going to do aerospace engineering so she took science then she passed out from tagore school karnal okay where in now in haryana previously it was in punjab okay in 1976 so when in which uh, which year she passed her uh, that uh, uh, school 1976 she obtained obtained means she got her aeronautical and engineering degree from punjab engineering college okay punjab lots of uh, colleges are there even i have studied my uh, that i have done my masters from punjab it's not uh, punjab university lovely professional university one of the greatest university in india lovely professional university from there i have done my masters uh, okay this one punjab engineering college punjab engineering college is also there then uh, so uh, she, she obtained she got the aeronautical engineering from this uh, college okay really of course punjab and haryana they are uh, really uh, one of one among the uh, that uh, educated or literate uh, states in india okay Liter- of course uh, even though they are farmers uh, lots of farmers are there okay they have brilliance okay they are brilliance and they have that uh, what uh, they are really smart even they are car- uh, courageous also brave also that's why the people used to okay mostly whenever we go that uh, uh, defense like for uh, army or anywhere we can see uh, this uh, soldiers who punjabi soldiers because they are that much brave okay yes mm, they don't fear easily but we suppose that uh, army trying to go if i go there they, oh my gosh whether the pakistani people will shoot me huh? whether they will make a stain or <laughs> stain on my chest stainer means that uh, you know that uh, what we used to that uh, separate the tea powder from the tea that stainer ah <laughs> like that all means i meant that okay bullet so it will be like a stainer full holes <laughs> that's it okay so uh, we will uh, think again okay twice uh, for that okay but they don't they are really patriotic okay that's why still they are protesting hmm? uh, against that rule again okay which is against which is going to be against this farmers okay so they are uh, bravely they are protesting there uh, yes hmm. and okay so uh, punjab okay then hmm. yes punjab in okay chandigarh 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 is the uh, capital of punjab and haryana the single uh, capital for both the states but you know one thing whenever they see together haryana and punjab people they fight each other that's another case yeah i have experienced when i was studying there i have experienced uh, that in front of my university also there were lots there was uh, okay there was lots of quarrels quarrels fights not like ever fight hey you are like okay you by orly 
it's like a fight means a horrible fight with a even stabbing stabbing means a just uh, taking knife and uh, piercing ah that's a stabbing okay so that kind of uh, cruel uh, quarrel okay it was there okay anyway but see now uh, okay uh, both karna both state uh, farmers they are together they are in delhi to protest see hmm. Yes. Now, during her first uh, okay, so in Chandigarh in 1982, during her first okay, so she this or she obtained okay, hmm, uh, what aeronautical engineering from where Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh in 1982. During her first year in college, whenever anyone asked her what she wanted to do, she would say, "I want to be a flight engineer." Okay, I want to be a flight engineer. So she wanted to become flight engineer. Whenever she studied there, if someone asked her that, okay, what do you want to become? She used to say that I want to become be a flight engineer. Next, time. but I am quite sure that at that time, I didn't really have a good idea or what a flight of a what a flight engineer did because flight engineers do not do aircraft design. which was an area i wanted to pursue and did pursue in my career okay so uh, even though she okay though she said like that okay i want to be a flight engineer she didn't know what uh, that uh, flight engineer did they were in aerospace engineers okay that aerospace uh, what okay uh, flight engineer okay because she wanted to Uh, give that importance where aircraft aircraft design okay and uh, aircraft design those are the people uh, those who study aircraft design what they do in uh, this uh, where that aerospace and all the things she didn't know at that time okay uh, which was okay area she wanted to pursue pursue means just uh, study or follow okay yes now uh, pursue in my career and uh, it's a sort of it's a sort of nice coincidence that what that's what i'm doing uh on this flight she said okay so i want okay then uh and it's a sort of sort of means a type of nice corner coincidence okay nice means <laughs> we always say that nice whenever someone ask you that how are you nice whenever someone how was the exam nice whenever uh, someone ask you how was the poem nice whenever someone ask you that how was how was the day nice always nice i give you lots of words instead of that using okay so just change your way of style okay and yes so nice coincidence coincidence means that uh, uh, multiple things happened in one okay what are the coincidence happened and i am doing the this flight okay i am doing go uh, doing on this flight okay so she wanted to take uh, that okay she wanted to pursue or she wanted to concentrate in what aircraft design and uh, she wanted uh, she want okay she wanted to go to where that uh, aerospace so she okay both uh, coincidence okay see then soon after passing out from punjab engineering college okay after passing out okay uh, it didn't take time okay she moved to the united states okay within without wasting time okay uh, suppose that okay today uh, i passed from uh, what uh, okay punjab okay that uh, punjab any uh, university ma i didn't waste okay uh, i didn't wait for uh, one month or two month okay like that within that time okay i searched for uh, that uh, or i tried to go to america and i went there that is it. okay so soon after passing out okay soon after very soon okay it uh, okay so uh, it didn't take much time okay from punjab engineering college she moved to united states okay she went to united states to obtain a master of science degree in aerospace engineering okay why did she go to united states to get master of science degree okay to get msc master of science okay msc and science degree in aerospace engineering in what msc okay master of science degree in aerospace engineering she was successfully awarded the degree by the university of texas okay so where did she study university of texas in 1984 so she graduated or she awarded what degree master of science degree in aerospace engineering in the year of 1984 from which university university of texas so she uh, she got her second master of science degree in mechanical engineering two years later okay after that uh, after her uh, that msc okay degree mm, then what did she got she got her master of science degree in mechanical engineer one more degree she took okay two ma two ms okay yes so master of science degree in mechanical engineering two years later in 1986 okay in 1986 she got one more degree what is that master of science degree in mechanical engineering previously it was in aerospace engineering now mechanical engineering in 1986 
finally she did her phd my god phd also which is higher than ma okay masters degree which is higher than even i tried uh, for that okay but uh, i didn't get it okay uh, then in aerospace engineering in 1988 okay 1988 she took the phd in aerospace engineering from the university of colorado from which university university of colorado later that year she took up a job in at nasa ames research center okay see she has uh, she had a two ma then one phd and after that she applied where uh, she took a job at nasa ames ms ms research center okay so nasa we know that okay nasa from the america which is a research center in space okay so she took the job there in nasa then kalpana held a certificate flight instructors license for aeroplane and gliders as well as commercial pilot silence okay pilot silence sorry not silence okay license for single and multi engine multi engine aeroplanes sea planes and gliders so she got two license okay she got uh, two certificates what are they she got certificate flight instructors license okay flight instructors license certificate for what to fly aeroplanes and gliders as well as commercial pilots license also for what to fly single and multi engine aeroplanes sea planes and gliders okay now soon after reaching so if you want to fly a glider okay you would get a license okay then only you can fly that otherwise you cannot yes soon after reaching the us kalpana married jean pierre harrison so yes after reaching uh, us okay because okay within that time okay while she was taking this uh, degrees she married Cal- uh, jean pierre harrison in 1983 okay 1983 she married jean pierre harrison who was an american and was granted us citizenship okay so if you want to get us uh, citizenship you should marry uh, an american okay uh, or like that or you have to uh, wait there for a long time and you uh, there are lots of other procedures are there okay so but anyway she married an american and she got us citizenship in 1990 how many years took 7 years after 7 years only she got okay uh, even after marriage, marriage also 7 years it took no uh, for uh, for her to get the us citizenship she traveled to india in the winter 1991 after her marriage okay it was uh, okay uh, sorry after she got the us citizenship okay next year she traveled to india in winter 1991 with her husband okay and spent time with her family in karnal okay where where was her house karnal so she traveled to india that was the last time she left set foot in india okay that was the last time she came to india that's that's the meaning okay then after she became an astronaut she hardly had time for anything okay after she became an astronaut she didn't have any time hardly means no time okay negative hardly means negative okay so uh, negative sentence it means okay so she hardly had any time for anything else okay means she didn't have time for anything else okay she was always busy with the that duty then in uh, in a 1993 she joined overset methods in inc california okay it's an another association as vice president and research scientist okay so she wa- she joined as a vice president even and a research scientist also where in uh, overset methods inc in california in the year of 1993 here she led a team of researchers okay so she uh, led okay the, the other uh, that researchers were okay team of researchers were under her control okay who were responsible for developing and implementing efficient techniques to perform aerodynamic optimization okay which uh, which is related to that uh, aerospace uh, technology okay so they were uh, researching what they were researching means study okay uh, the studying with the uh, test and all things lab test and all the things okay science okay so they 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 were the researchers okay they were responsible to develop develop means a form make okay mainly can implement implement means a change efficient techniques okay that advanced techniques on what perform aerodynamic optimization means that aerospace okay like that things okay in march 1995 kalpana jawla joined the nasa astronaut corps okay so in march 1995 okay march 1995 she joined the nasa astronaut corps corps means an organization which uh, work for a common uh, what 
കോമൺ ഡ്യൂട്ടി അവർ കോമൺ പർപ്പസ് ഓക്കെ കോമൺ ഡ്യൂട്ടി അവർ കോമൺ പർപ്പസ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ നാഷണൽ കേഡറ്റ് കോർ നാഷണൽ കേഡറ്റ് കോർ മീൻസ് വാട്ട് വിച്ച് ദേ ഗീവ് ട്രെയിനിങ് ഫോർ ടു അവർ ട്രെയിനിങ് ടു ബിക്കം അ സോൾജിയർ ഓക്കെ ദേർ വി ഗെറ്റ് ദ ട്രെയിനിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സോൾജിയേഴ്സ് ഗെറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് യു വാണ്ട് ടു ബിക്കം എ സോൾജിയർ യു ക്യാൻ ജോയിൻ ആസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് എൻ സി സി ഓഫീസർ ഓർ എൻ സി സി നോട്ട് ഓഫീസർ എൻ സി സി കേഡറ്റ് ഐ വാസ് എൻ എൻ സി സി കേഡറ്റ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് യാ ഇൻ മൈ ഡിഗ്രി ലെവൽ ഐ വാസ് എൻ എൻ സി സി കേഡറ്റ് ഓക്കെ and you will get a lots of training and all the things then uh, you will get some kind of what you will get courage courage okay courage to do whatever you want okay huh? you will not uh, fear or uh, anything okay you will get, you will become brave then uh, system uh, systematic things will be there in your life okay uh, that things will be in a systematic then uh, regularity will be there punctuality yes yes though these good things you will get if you become a part of ncc yes next time Uh, in march 1995 kalpana chawla joined then okay then uh, and got selected for her first flight in 1990 see so, okay so in 1995 she joined in Kal- uh, that uh, what nasa astronaut course in 1996 she selected for the first flight uh, okay she selected for the first flight after undergoing rigorously training uh, rigorously means what very strict and severe okay very strict and uh, severe for going uh, space it's not easy okay so they get uh, very severe like a soldiers you know, how they get uh, that kind of strict and severe cruel uh, cruel punishment they will or uh, training they will get okay whenever okay suppose that uh, yes uh, you might have seen okay those who are interested in uh, soul uh, army and all the things so have you seen that videos of special commandos you have to take care of watch okay you have to uh, see that once how cruel training they get and you know one thing they are the okay when you become a part of that the people will respect you if you okay in india which are that para para commandos para commandos are really dangerous they are okay and but they are uh, no people will know that okay uh, that a person uh, who is uh, become a part of or who is a part of uh, para commando they live like you no know, common people okay they can they have the ability to uh, mingle like a common person okay they don't throw that oh i'm a bar commando oh oh uh, respect me like that no whenever you see okay they uh, they will be like a common person okay they are just wearing that uh, you, uh, our traditional uh, as per the uh, location they wear the dress and they uh, attached okay they mingled in that life but whenever they are in duty whenever you see they are they in a uniform then only you will get to know my god he is a para commando and he is really don't mess up with the para commandos okay in america one famous is there okay navy seal it's a most dangerous most dangerous not from america it's from israel israel you know one thing israel uh, that uh, ability of israel they don't fear about anything and that much harsh training they are getting that too much harsh they don't have to uh, think uh, twice if uh, go for any operation if you get an order to go for a duty or go for any operation you should go without any uh, that uh, thinking yes ready if i give you the command okay if i'm uh, suppose that i'm the superior or i'm uh, that uh, uh, which is in a high position in that uh, israel okay i give you that uh, my command okay you go and do this uh, operation you have to definitely go and you have to do that that kind of for that these uh, special forces are there in india also we uh, we know that mm, then another one is that okay uh, that mumbai terror attack uh, i forgot that sandeep uh, sandeep unni krishnan he was part of that uh, force okay uh, forgot that name okay yes so lots of uh, are there okay para but uh, one more is there i forgot the name cobra cobra yes cobra is there oh cobra that's another commandos a group of commando they are also really dangerous para commandos means uh, mostly they are uh, from navy and uh, cobra i guess it's a part of army okay mm, yes then uh, for air force also for as a part of them also there is one force uh, but i forgot that i need to play again you know one thing whenever i'm uh, free okay whenever i get days or time i watch such videos even uh, patriotic uh, videos uh, last uh, day i have watched one movie which is uh, battalion 702 something like that <sighs> it's really 
if you want you can but you have to make your mind uh, ready for it otherwise you will cry i have cried to be frank i can say that i have cried that much what sensitive feeling movie is that even though it's a part of uh, army uh, and it says about our uh, jaswan singh yes uh jason singh who was a soldier or martyr he killed uh, okay in that uh, that war between india and china okay india china war uh, uh, china war okay uh, china war okay he part uh, participated and he killed lots of chinese uh, soldiers and last that uh, okay in movie it shows that uh, officer of china okay he came and uh, he uh, cut his neck like that uh, kill uh, they killed him okay so yes uh that's really <laughs> if you want uh, you can watch okay uh, yes that movie is available in youtube okay and then uh, then you at least you have to take a okay if uh, even if you don't want to watch that movie at least you just you can you will get some information about our force indian force then uh, you will get lots of okay if you subscribe that you will get another uh, okay like our uh, that uh, war warships 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 means uh, which okay that ins vikramas they are like that kind of things okay uh, they have the ability to carry that helicopters then uh, aeroplanes uh, like a flight or okay that is ins vikramas that kind of airships okay warships warship we can call yes so that also we have to whenever we see these things we feel proud of ourselves because we are living in such country then uh okay where we deviate from where we deviated mm, implementing okay then uh, undergoing rigorously training undergoing rigorously training she went on her first space mission in november 197 okay when november 97 uh, november 1997 she west went for the first space mission she was part of a six member crew that flew the space shuttle columbia flight sts 87 okay so she was a part of six member how many members were there six member crew and uh, she space okay space shuttle columbia flight sts 87 sts that is code number okay and uh, columbia columbia different columbia sir okay another one one more columbia is there okay see mm, yes sorry mm. so she was assigned the duty of a mission specialist and prime robotic camera um, operator okay so she studied aerospace engineering uh, so she uh, concentrated in that part okay assigned the duty of a mission specialist mission specialist okay mission specialist means okay what what's their mission to go and uh, research on this mars okay that is a mission and a specialist she was specialist in that and another prime robotic arm operator prime robotic okay whenever we go uh, that space okay it's not easy uh, for uh, that human being going outside okay so at that time they use robot robotic hands and all the things so robotic arm robotic arm okay means a uh, hand okay and uh, operator she was the operator of that uh, robotic arm then the purpose of sts 87 was to focus on experiments designed to study how the weightless environment of space affected various physical processes okay what was the duty or what was the aim of this uh, purpose of this uh, sts 87 columbia columbia it was to focus experiments experiments means uh, studies for on what to study how the weightless weightless means we know that whenever you go outside okay out of space there's no weight there's no air so weight is not there and environment and of space affected various physical processes okay there also physical process happens okay yeah this is stars they um, okay sometimes they blast okay uh, that uh, in that space how they blast here we are suppose that okay suppose okay if it's a bulb or something like that whenever we throw a stone okay it goes and it touches there and that blasts us but in space how is that because uh, when there is no air nothing uh, is so able possible to move okay and there is no even weight in the air we get weight and power okay that power is there okay for, uh, okay so whenever it touches uh, forcefully okay because of that power and uh, the air okay for force that is breaks easily but in air there is no weight there is no uh, power then how does it uh, break so she wanted to le- research in that okay yes physical process as well as to observe the sun's outer atmospheric layers okay we know that okay for whatever planet is okay they are uh, they have l- different types of uh, different layers we have that um, uh, okay which are the layers okay 
ട്രോപ്പോ ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഓക്കെ ട്രോപ്പോസ്ഫിയർ സ്ട്രാറ്റോസ്ഫിയർ യെസ് സെവൻ ഓർ സിക്സ് ലെയേഴ്സ് ആർ ദർ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഓസോൺ ലെയർ യെസ് ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ലെയേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഈവൻ സൺ ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് അറ്റ്മോസ്ഫിയറിക് ലെയർ ആൻഡ് ദേ വാണ്ടഡ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി അബൌട്ട് ദ ഔട്ടർ ഔട്ടർ ലെയർ ഓക്കെ യെസ് ദൻ ഇൻ ഹർ ഫസ്റ്റ് മിഷൻ കൽപ്പന ചൗള ട്രാവൽഡ് ഓവർ സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് മില്യൺ മൈൽസ് ഇൻ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു ഓർബിറ്റ്സ് ഓർബിറ്റ്സ് മീൻസ് റൗട്ടേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ഓഫ് ദ എർത്ത് ഓക്കെ സോ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു ഓർബിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ എർത്ത് ഓക്കെ സോ എർത്ത് ഓക്കെ എർത്ത് ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു റൊട്ടേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ മച്ച് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സിക്സ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് മില്യൺ മൈൽസ് ലോഗിങ് ലോഗിൽ മീൻസ് ട്രാവലിംഗ് സിക്സ് സെവൻറ്റി ടു അവേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ത്രീ സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് അവേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ത്രീ സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് അവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി ഫോർ മിനിറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ സ്പേസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഷീ ട്രാവൽഡ് ത്രീ സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് അവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി ഫോർ മിനിറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ സ്പേസ് ആൻ അവർ ആൻഡ് എ ഹാഫ് ആൻ അവർ ആൻഡ് എ ഹാഫ് ടു ട്രാവൽ അറൗണ്ട് ദ എർത്ത് വൺസ് മൈ ഗുഡ്നസ് ഹൗ സ്മോൾ ദിസ് പ്ലാനറ്റ് റിയലി ഈസ് സി വൺ ആൻഡ് ഹാഫ് അവർ ഓൺലി ഷീ ടുക് ടു റൊട്ടേറ്റ് അവർ എർത്ത് സോ വെൻ അവർ വി ഗോ ഔട്ട് സൈഡ് എർത്ത് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് മച്ച് സ്മോൾ ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഇൻ എർത്ത് ഹൗ ഹൗ സ്മോൾ വി ആർ ദെൻ ബട്ട് വാട്ട് വി തിങ്ക് വി ആർ ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ദർ ഇസ് നോ വൺ എൽസ് ദൻ ദ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദൻ ഹോസ് ഈവൻ ഗോഡ് ഈസ് അണ്ടർ മീ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വി തിങ്ക് ഡോൺ തിങ്ക് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ നത്തിങ് വെൻ വി വെൻ സമൺ ഓക്കെ സമൺ ഇസ് വാച്ചിങ് ഫ്രം എ സ്പേസ് ഫോർ ദം വി ആർ ലൈക്ക് കാറ്റർ പില്ലർ കാറ്റർ പില്ലർ ഓർ വാട്ട് ഈവൻ വേംസ് ദാറ്റ് മച്ച് സൈസ് ഓൾഡ് വി ആർ ആൻഡ് വി വാട്ട് വി തിങ്ക് we are great we can do uh, whatever we want and we are killing others we are uh, like raping what i don't know what we people th- do and what we people think why we are like this what why we can change but i want you to change you have to change the world yes you have to change the world yes um ദെൻ ആൺ അവർ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഓക്കെ പ്ലാനറ്റ് റീലിയസ് സെറ്റ് കൽപ്പന ചൗള റീകോളിങ് ഹർ ഇമോഷൻസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഹർ ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു സ്പേസ് സി ഈവൻ ഷി വാസ് റിമെമ്പറിംഗ് ഹെർ ഇമോഷൻസ് വെയർ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഹെർ ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു സ്പേസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഷി വാസ് സെയിങ് ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഷീ ട്രാവൽഡ് ഓക്കെ ഷീ ട്രാവൽഡ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് ഫൈവ് മില്യൺ മൈൽസ് ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു ഓർബിറ്റ്സ് മീൻസ് റൊട്ടേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് എർത്ത് ദെൻ ലോഗിങ് വാട്ട് ട്രാവലിംഗ് എ ത്രീ സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് അവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് തേർട്ടി ഫോർ മിനിറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ സ്പേസ് Then she took only ദെൻ ഷീ ടു കൊള്ളി വൺ ആൻഡ് ഹാഫ് അവർ ടു റൊട്ടേറ്റ് എർത്ത് ഒള്ളി കൊള്ളി എർത്ത് ഷീ ടു കൊള്ളി വൺ ആൻഡ് ഹാഫ് അവർ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഷീ റിയലൈസ് ദാറ്റ് അവർ എർത്ത് ഈസ് റിയലി സ്മോൾ തിങ് ലൈക്ക് എ ബോൾ യെസ് ദെൻ കൽപ്പന വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ വുമൺ ബോൺ വുമൺ ഓക്കെ കൽപ്പന വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ബോൺ വുമൺ ആൻഡ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പേഴ്സൺ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഒറിജിൻ ടു ഫ്ലൈ ഇൻ സ്പേസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഷീ വാസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ born woman and the second person of indian origin and the second person to fly in space rageesh sharma had flown in a soviet aircraft in 1984 so who was the first person who uh, traveled to the space indian uh, person rageesh sharma and in which year 1984 and from which uh, uh, country soviet union now it is russia previously it was soviet union and soviet uh, soviet union destroyed and now it is russia okay yes while rageesh sharma represented india kalpana chawla represented us see rageesh sharma even uh, he went from uh, russia he represented india but kalpana chawla represented us she even uh, though, though she was indian she represented us yes being a us citizen okay the both had never met being a us citizen they both had never met okay then in 2000 in 2000 means uh, only 10 years ago in 2000 it didn't take much uh, years okay only 10 years she was sele- selected for the second flight as part of seven member crew of seven sts 107 okay that was also columbia first one sts 87 this one sts 107 okay see two okay yes and again she selected for what space travel to the space uh, and this time it was columbia sts 107 this mission seemed to be jinxed jinxed means what associated with the bad luck okay this uh, travel it was uh, full of bad luck okay or fix uh, okay it was related to uh, bad luck okay there was bad luck 
okay from the beginning also from the beginning also bad luck was there what was the bad luck there were repeated delays caused due to scheduling conflicts and technical faults okay there were uh, repeated delays okay not only one delay okay suppose that uh, delay means what waiting okay suppose that okay mm, what uh, yeah for um, uh, starting the classes what time uh, it is there 10 o'clock but if the teacher is getting uh, late do you think that uh, at 10, 10 o'clock the start, class will start no it will get delay like that here due to what scheduling conflicts okay scheduling conflicts okay they have to schedule the timing uh, suppose that okay uh, that at uh, 10 o'clock that uh, flight will go or that uh, space uh, this aircraft will light up a uh, little uh, light up okay to the space but if there is any mistake or if they uh, is uh, that uh, or uh, arrangement is not ready then they will change the timing okay the so scheduling uh, conflicts okay conflicts means uh, arrangement okay and uh, technical force even technical force okay we know the do you know one thing that uh, to arrange uh, spacecraft and uh, which is uh, till which, uh, it reaches the space it takes a uh, lots of time ah mangal yeah that uh, mars which uh, mangal mangal yes mars Okay, so that uh, our spacecraft which went to Mars uh, for uh, America it is Viking for in uh, from India it is Mangalyaan yes and uh, we know that uh, Mangalyaan movie is there that uh, by Akshay Kumar you have watched it last year and uh, where you came uh, you saw that how difficult it is okay many times they change the scheduling and all the things okay so if you remember that uh, movie in, uh, okay then you know that uh, that uh, okay what uh, technical faults and uh, scheduling conflicts what is that yes next uh, on january 16 2003 on january 16 2003 kalpana chawla finally returned to space okay so she uh, reached uh, space uh, when on january 16 2003 then uh, returned to space abroad okay abroad abroad Abort means uh, what? On board. Okay, on board. Uh, the ill-fated space shuttle Columbia. Ill-fated means uh, bad luck. Okay, that bad luck. Uh, that sh uh, space shuttle Columbia. Okay, uh, with uh, bad luck. On mission STS-107. STS-1. Okay, for each mission they give number. First uh, mission it was STS-87 and in this one STS-107. Next, uh, as millions waited and baited. Baited means what? Uh, yes reduced okay reduced okay baited breath okay reduced their breath means they were holding their breath to know that okay uh, for okay suppose that something happened so that especially okay we wanted uh, her to come back to india pay, uh, safely okay so we okay, especially the people those who loved her they really waited even they reduced their breathing okay they hold their breath okay till she reaches uh, back to India, but for the space shuttle, Columbia's return, it uh, just disintegrated. But what happened? Disintegrated means broke up, broke as pieces. Okay, broke into pieces. So means destroyed that Columbia space shuttle while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Till that time, it was uh, there was no problem. But entering the okay, uh, touching that uh, layer, okay, of uh, that uh, space because. That's the uh, that uh, medium level uh, where there's no uh, air and where's air. Okay, so there will be a problem when uh, it uh, reach. Okay, it uh, can um, the, what passes through passes to the uh, our atmosphere of earth. Okay, it is a really uh, difficult situation. Yes, and there it broke. Okay, if a small technical fault is enough to break there and that broke what st uh, that columbia shuttle spacecraft sts 107 broke then aghast people all over the and uh, it was watched by aghast people all over the world and uh, we all the people aghast people means what horrified okay the people who watched it horri horribly means uh, that uh, okay even though uh, we are not interested in uh, okay that uh, um, that uh, kalpana chawla but whenever we hear that okay um, that uh, their space okay that space shuttle broke and they died in that uh, incident we still remember hori horribly only okay so they they watched it horribly okay then kalpana chawla died in a heroic death okay a heroic death not uh, okay heroic death <laughs> not heroic okay Mm, yes, so Kalpana Chawla died a heroic death. Her brother Sanjay Chawla, 
uh, in the beginning we told that her brother what's uh, his name Ch- sanjay chawla okay kalpana chawla sanjay chawla sanjay chawla remarked to me my sister is not dead she is immortal isn't that what a star is she is a permanent star in the sky she will always be up there where she belongs okay so her brother said to the media what for him my, uh, his sister is not dead means kalpana chawla is not dead for him then she is immortal immortal means the person who doesn't have death okay who lives old okay who lives long okay without dying okay the, for that people we can or for that kind of person we can call immortal then isn't that what a star is okay in the, uh, we can uh, see in the sky uh, uh, stars okay so she is a permanent star in the sky who kalpana chawla is a permanent star in the sky okay other uh, stars we know that okay when, when it is night or when it is day it will fade okay it will get faded but she is permanent star she is not going to get faded okay she will be always there where in space and she will always be up there where she belongs okay where uh, where she belongs space her uh, that deserve was also to be a space uh, aerocraft okay aerospace engineer okay so the place uh, which belong okay where uh, she belongs it is space so she will be there always like that sanjay chawla uh, sorry chawla so uh, told then kalpana chawla has been posthumously awarded posthumously means after the death uh, award which uh, the the people uh, receives okay shaurya chakra uh, veerya chakra or ashok chakra some kind of okay uh, when they get after they uh, that soldiers get martyr okay martyr means they died in war or something okay they get shaurya chakra and we param uh, veer chakra all okay yes so those are posthumously awarded from india okay posthumously awarded from awards from india but here she got from america which are they the nasa space flight medal the nasa space flight medal one is that another one the nasa distinguished service medal the nasa distinguished service medal so she got uh, two awards after her death from uh, that america nasa okay see so that's all about our kalpana chawla tomorrow we will do the exercise part okay so till uh, thanks a million for watching okay if you have any doubts i think uh, there are uh, here there may be some doubts okay so you can ask me any time either by messaging or by calling okay so uh, till we meet tomorrow with our exercise part of this kalpana chawla bye bye have a great day